All right, back again. We are playing more Shaker in the top lane, and it's our old friend Garen. Uh, this is uh, this has been a fun one, I think. Uh, this was, I think, a bit more of a passive Garen. He's uh, warding the bushes early. Uh, I'm just going to place a box back here in case they're e start. They are e start. Um, I just don't want them spinning all the way through my wave, basically, uh, and onto me. So just a little bit of last hitting here. Pretty passive start for both of us. Uh, nothing too crazy. Uh, I'm just gonna slowly push up my box kind of areas here. Get a bit of get the damage onto me, but not nothing nothing much really. Um, they get the early push in, which is fine. Just place a box against the wall, drag my minions over. And it kind of just to stop outside here, so this is good. Right here is nice. Um, keep it on my side of the lane, nice and close to my tower. Can't dive in. Get a sneaky uh, Q uh, auto backstab onto the Garen there. Just felt like playing a little bit more aggressively against this player because they're not taking advantage of my weak early game enough, I don't think. Uh, yep, cool. Um, the one CS up if I get all these. Oh, we missed one. We missed two. Okay, there are a few up. This is not bad. I'm just gonna pot up because I'm not sure. Uh, I'm I'm gonna try and stay in lane for a little bit longer. Um, I tend to have to back quite early on Shaker because I get poked a lot. Um, but this lane, uh, not too bad. Aaron's gonna fight my uh, box, which is fair enough. I'm not going to be pressuring them, so it's not too bad if they do that. We're just kind of just trying to farm a little bit here, failing a little bit, but we're just keeping up in XP. That's the biggest thing. Try and get some sneaky last hits. Yep, yeah, good. This is like slightly too close to my tower for my liking, but not too bad. I'm just going to drag these over to my box. Backstab damage is enough. Nice. And cool. Alright, so we're a little bit behind in CS and we missed another one. <laughs> I'm just gonna bait here, see if he takes the bait. Doesn't I miss my E on the minion, very bad, but that's okay. Uh, he's pushing nice and hard for us so we can uh soak up all these minions. If you ever decided to freeze the lane outside the turret, we might be in trouble, but thankfully he doesn't doesn't like to do that. Not much to report in the early stages. Oh, I miss another cannon. Ugh, I hate to see it. But this is Shaco under pressure near turret thing sometimes. Garen takes a tower here, uses his W. Okay. Get a few last hits here. Whoop. Oh, can't get the backstab. Two autos instead. That one only needs one. Okay. Gotta be a little bit careful because Garen has Ignite. Um, and he started Longsword, which I'm not really, I don't know, I'm not really sure about that start. I don't think it's worth it, personally. Just, I don't know. I think they wanted to go a more aggressive um, start, but I don't really know if it really helps that much on Garen. I think you're just better off. Um, Probably didn't need to box this up to be honest, it kind of just messed up the CS, it wasn't really helpful. I think I was just placing it to stop Garen from wailing on my tower. Uh, so we're down a bit of CS now, which sucks. Uh, we're going to ward as well. Um, Garen has been very uh, passive in terms of trying to fight me, very little poke on me. I'm trying to remove my boxes, which is interesting by just running into them. See a few people do this. This person did it with their using their W a lot. Um, just get those extra tanky anti tenacity stats and those extra other stats, and then just run into a box. I think that's probably fine when the when the state is like this, where I'm not looking to kill them and they're like not really looking to kill me. They're just trying to make sure that they're safe. Uh, get the cannon that time! Hooray! Praise Jesus! Um, just gonna backstab these. They get a plate, I can't really do much to stop that. 
Let's just shake our life sometimes. Okay. Placing boxes to make sure that I don't get dove randomly. Clone up. Didn't see me for some reason here and just altered my clone. A uh, bit weird. Um, so anyway, get the alt out of the way. Um, he didn't ignite or anything, so that's okay. But nice to uh, to exchange alts like that because mine's uh, I don't know. <laughs> For me, at the moment, the Garen alt is way more important than my alt. Mine's on what's mine on? Mine's on an eighty-eight second cooldown. What's his? One hundred and twenty. So mine's on a much shorter cooldown. Uh, Steal some fruit from the river. I'm just gonna go back to my tower. I missed. I think I missed a cannon for that kill, but uh, I'll take it. I ignite. I ignite the order uh, to finish off that vex running up the river. Uh, a rare moment of map awareness by me. Um, <laughs> I gotta say, I, I I don't think Garen should have let me do that. Um, I'd be a bit upset if I was that vex seeing his full health like flash. <laughs> Flashing that Garen just let me die to a shaker who was wandering around on no mana. Um, Garen's trying to yeah, do some interesting things. I'm just going to clear out the wave. My clone's up again, so I just send my clone at him I, while I clear out the wave. It's a little bit minion blocked here. Pretty funny. He just flashes there. Flash ignites. Do you have your ult up? No, nope, not yet. It's not up, buddy. Give you 10 more seconds. If he'd actually slow rolled that, he might have been able to get me there. But All right, we return back to base. I had a box on top of me just in case he went to try and do anything silly. So we're 20 CS down, but that's kind of like pretty standard Shaco top things. Uh, we get some <laughs> poke on him. Um, Sadly, I think we missed this cannon. Yeah, I didn't have uh, didn't have TP up, so I couldn't go rescue it. But that's okay. Uh, Hecarim's sneaking around. Drop one in there, just in case he goes back. Get some backstabs, backstab. I actually make sure I secure this myself. Um, I usually just don't, uh, I don't worry about who gets kills most of the time. Um, I kind of just do DPS and then whoever happens to last hit it does it. Um, I, I think I'm probably in the minority in terms of that. I think, feel like support players uh, yeah, are even um, conditioned from early on to like deliberately not take kills. Um, I'm kind of like, I'm just going to keep doing my DPS stuff and whoever ends up with the kill ends up with the kill. Um, but I actually want some kills in this lane because it's quite it's quite hard to fight Garen just in general if he's not trying to take the bait. Um, he's really not uh, actively trying to kill me. I haven't been able to step out away from the tower um, and uh, fight him out in the open here because uh, under under turret you have to hope that they dive you essentially, and it's not very. It's not very really easy to set that up. You have to get really low and like I have to play kind of deliberately dumb to, to do it or extra greedy for CS or whatever. Um, okay, got him into a box, good. Placed a second box, getting some nice damage on him here. Got a third box, ignite, backstab E. Oh, so close, so close. Got him to 100 HP, roughly, just above. I'm looking for, like, looking to aim, just to keep him poked down. See, he went to 8 HP there. I'm trying to get my last E off. Place a box just to fear her to get out. He went to 8 HP, guys. 8. 8. Gwen gives up. Full health, full mana, Gwen. She doesn't have ghosts, thankfully. If she had ghosts, I feel like she could definitely have chased me down there. Um, okay, so we <laughs> so close, eight HP. 
away from a kill there. Um, bit sad. Um, I got my cooldown boots early in this game because I just wanted to be mobile against Garen. Um, he's quite a fast boy and he even went Swifties this game. Uh, this is like a weird non-standard build. This is like what I used to run like season 8 or something where you just go like Triforce first and then you play like Grasp or um, it's gone Conqueror, Grasp or Conqueror. And yeah, like, I really enjoy the play style of being able to um, Q grasp someone. Um, and I don't know, it's just very satisfying running up and trading with like a Q that grasps as well. So he's he's cutting me off, so I'm cutting him off. So we're kind of just like, kind of like weird proxying each other in the middle of the lane here. <laughs> Um, I have to be a little bit careful. Because <laughs> uh, I do have my... Oh, it just straight up ignites me here. I'm just waiting for it to expire before I do anything. Runs into the box. Okay, I'm just going to wait and see what he does. <laughs> I have an XP lead on him, actually. I'm just on level 10. So he's he's about to hit level 10 now. into my box. I think he thinks this is actually me and I'm just playing like a, a mind game with him or something. So we just, I'm just taking a break to let cooldowns cool down here. I know he's in that bush, obviously. He's not getting away. Just drop the ignite on him. I survive on 18 health that time. So that was pretty close actually. Um, I think, I think I probably should have died there. I didn't, I didn't play that very cleanly. Uh, but we get away with it, just like he did when he survived on 8 HP. Um, I'm being very greedy here. Um, I can't. I think I said to myself, "I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna greed because I probably should have died there. So if I if I die, it's probably just it's fine. <laughs> I should have died anyway. Um, I'm watching out for the turret because I'm I'm aware that <laughs> I was in an awkward spot there. So push it into push the wave in. Um, Gwen's coming top. I don't remember if she comes to visit me. Wave gets delayed by boxes. Got a few extra bits of gold here and there. Garen's just keen to push now. Slow push. Alright. Oh, we got we got the uh, we got Blackfire Torch. We got CDR boots. We're starting on Leandries, I think. Um, he's sweeping around for boxes, but there are none, sir. I haven't placed any. I've just gotten back to lane. We ate them all. So Garen's kind of playing a bit passive. I'm just poking him as much as possible now. I wanted to get a little backstab on there, but he dropped the clone again. Stupid random minion sitting off my box. Rude. I'll just let them duke it out. I try to put the clone behind him so he gets feared back towards me so I can get another E in and maybe, maybe some more damage, which works out. Uh, I'm just going to push him in. Really, I was taking our turret down the bottom. Team is doing okay. Um, my jungle is doing really well. It's kind of pretty mixed across the board. 4 3 4, 3 3 5, 2 and 2. Yeah, nothing, nothing crazy. So we're kind of. Me and, me and my Hecarim are doing the best. Hecarim's. I think he's yet to visit, actually. Doesn't like my, doesn't like my lane for some reason. Doesn't like this 10 HP Garand. Um. Nice, 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 nice. Yeah, so very greeting for with the flash. I don't, I don't think they needed that to be honest. But anyway, Garen's kind of just hanging out under turret. He doesn't really know what to do anymore. He's just he's been literally boxed in. Flash ignite. I'll, I respect it. I actually complimented him on that in chat, and I was like, that was nice. That was nice. Uh, no reply, sadly. I think he was a bit tilted at this point. But yeah, good good work. Got the um, the flash Q to silence me. Gets the ignite, so even if I do get unsilenced, um, I can't get out of his vision, and then just a straight ult, and then I die to the ignite. So you know, a nice uh, quickly executed combo. Uh, unlike the last one where he kind of flashed and ignited me at the same time. Uh, so we get. I don't know if that can does a shutdown. Yeah, I had, a, I had a bounty of 250, so I was worth 650 gold there. Damn. But that's okay. 
it was it was a well played thing, and I, I kind of got a little bit baited um, by Hecarim being there. Um, I was like, oh, we'll go for the dive when this guy is low, and then he smartly just turned it on me, and Hecarim didn't uh, go for the finish. So yeah, that was good. That was well played by Garen there. I respect the uh, the awareness and the uh, thought process behind that. Like I'm either I should try and get the kill while I can. And if I die, that's fine. At least I'll take one with me. But uh, send a message to it sometimes. I like how he like flies around. He's got like he's kind of like like floating a little bit with the, when he speeds himself up with his Q. It's kind of cool. All right, so we got the uh, we got the haunting guys. Half of our Leandri's done. I'm just gonna box that up in his face. Try not to get this minion into this box. I hate when they fear minions and they just run randomly towards the other boxes. I'm just gonna let this kill these minions here. If he's gonna wait, I'm gonna <laughs> I'm gonna let his minions die. I gotta get better at moving my clone at the same time. Uh clone was kinda standing still there. Oh <laughs> we <laughs> I love it. Uh, fantastic, fantastic. Yeah, excuse me. Gosh, a bit sleepy. Um, Vex again overstepping. Drop a box for her. Dodge her, whatever that is. Q, W, something. Um, scare her off anyway. Nearly got the kill on her. Didn't quite get there. I don't think I have my ignite up here. Yeah. Used it earlier. Used it on Garen to dissuade him from uh, attacking me when I was nearly dead. So. I like last hitting with Comet. It's fun. I miss Cannon. That's sad. Right. Keep I'm trying to keep these bloody things away. Yeah, just a bit too tanky. Kind of got to bait him in a little bit better than that. Can't really just run at him super easily. Uh, he's got to kind of fight me rather than the other way around, even with Hecker in here. That was a cute little trick, actually. I, I forgot that I did that. So um, what I did was I sent the clone back and tried to position it perfectly so that the line's probably like here, I think. And so I just popped a cute over and just return my clone because uh, I'd reached the edge of the range of the clone. So I popped it over just as it was about to explode and then it popped behind him and did that. But unfortunately, he's just like, he's just too tanky. Like he's got a full Negatron cloak uh, already, plus his W stats and everything. So he's, he's a very hard man to kill, unfortunately. So we're just going to keep pressuring him uh, in the hopes that we can get his turret soon. I'm still 14 CS down. Not too bad though, considering like Shaco just really like does not get CS in lane. So it's, you know, ran into a box. I mean, there's the other ones there, I think. Just gonna spin into it. <laughs> okay, okay. All right. It's got a red buff. God damn. <laughs> it's so hard to kill this man because he just regens and then he gets a free red buff from jungle things. Gosh. No way I no way I kill him here. So I'm just gonna recall. I'm trying to get my clone to explode just before I leave so it doesn't um doesn't go away. So hit the, hit this man here. There we go. And then boom. Good. Then we recall. Cool. Um so we're still like 18 CS down. We've got triple boxes here. One, two. <laughs> Is he at the third one? He does. We got the trifecta. Three, three <laughs> special boxes for you. Can't quite finish uh, the Leandries yet. Run back to lane. Uh, I do have TP up, but I know I didn't need it because I had those three boxes set up there. I think I just miss uh, throwing an E at him there to stop him from backing. Keeping him there would have been really nice. Uh, oh, <laughs> Threshex flashed over the wall, thinking he was going to check 
uh, to see if people were there. Aphelios halting for some reason, I don't even know why. Um, alright, Garen's on the way back. Alright, he's going, he's going into the standard build here. This will be interesting. But he's, yeah, his, the Negatron cloak is pretty big. Like, he just, he's got double buffs now. Come on, man. <laughs> Where are my buffs? Where did I get buffs? Yeah, so I just, like, runs through and autos the turret. It's like, yeah, there's one HP. It kind of baits me into fighting with him, but like, I'm freaking AP Shaker. What am I gonna do, man? Like, <laughs> I don't know what I'm supposed to do here. He's so tanky. It's just so tanky. It's like, yeah. That little bit of MR, like, well, I mean, it's like 900 gold worth of MR is, is a lot for Shaker. Like, Shaker just doesn't have very good damage, unfortunately. You really have to rely on people not running into, like, multiple, multiple boxes to to get kills. And I still don't have my Leandries. I think I've got it now. Um, then coming up. She's a little bit weak, actually. You can see the minions are chunking her here. That one, that one E, because she has no MR, she's running a full, full damage build. Uh, oh, Garen's taking camps. What is this? I'd be upset if I was Quinn. Um, yeah, she's running full damage, so she's she's got like no resistances or anything. Yeah. Wow. <clears throat> So I'm gonna go back and oh, found another box. Uh, I finished the Leandry, so this should actually start hurting now. Yeah, nice. So you can even see now that the burn, like that one box, took a third of his health off almost um, because of the HP burn and everything, which is really nice. I'm gonna TP back. Um, the red team got a, a soul. Wait, red team? I'm the red team. Wait, what does it say? Red team has claimed soul? I might. Why did it say red team? It says my team has got it. I'm on the blue side. But what is going on there? That's weird. Okay. It's definitely my team that has it because I just saw the little uh, lightning effect that you get. <laughs> There's lightning bolts that come out. That's pretty sweet. Um, this extra damage for me. I'm happy with that. Um, oh, this is good, this is good. So he's quite low now, and my my slows are doing damage, and my uh, Landry's is doing damage, which is good. So I feel like an act, I might actually be able to kill this man at some point. We'll see, though. Um, bot lane's kind of just trying to end the game prematurely here, though. Garen's just running into the middle of them. Now, the good news is this man has no resists. Uh, in terms of armor right now. So the Kaiser, who mm, it's kind of hybrid build, I guess, maybe a bit more AP, should actually deal a bit of damage to him. Uh, I think, unfortunately, the, the game's kind of about to end here because we're just too far ahead in terms of having a soul and a bunch of towers. Yeah. All the towers are gone now. Uh, Gwen's still doing okay. The Vex is like, struggling, but they're not like power feeding or anything, but they just don't have any kills. They only have eight kills across their whole team. Yeah. Just a bit low. Gold wise. Here's the cannon again. I'm just running through the box. Oh, they hit the wrong one. My team, help me team, help me, help me, <laughs> help me. Oh. <laughs> Escape me got like 50 HP. Nice. Oh, the clutch team play. Was the uh, Vex did a little bit more than I expected it to, I think. Yeah. I just got the kill. I didn't get an assist, sadly. My box damage was too long ago. Uh, I might not have even hit him, actually. But they take care of that turret for me. A little bit more gold. Um, we we're, we're working on uh, Ludens here. Ludens is also fun with um, Hextech Soul and Leandries and stuff. Because um, when you proc the burn from Blackfire Torch and Leandries, it procs the Ludens, and then I think the Ludens splash also 
helps proc other things and then comet. And there's like a whole bunch of synergy there. It's really fun. Um, yeah, good times. I've got some boxes set up here. I'm just kind of like waiting for the counter attack to happen from the other team because I'm when you when you're down this badly. A lot of the time, your team will overextend like this Yasuo is here, and he gets killed, and then they come like storming out of the base, and they're like, yeah, let's go chase him down and get all the kills. So I've got like three boxes set up here ready for the counter attack, but I don't know if it ever comes, to be honest. I'm just kind of like killing minions on the outside here, just waiting for the end. Poke, poke people a little bit. Play <laughs> some box here. <laughs> you want to come out? Come on out. I'm trying to bait him with my teleport, but he's just ignoring me. Feeling ignored. Anyway, good game. Uh, so yeah, it was kind of like, it was a bit of a weird lane, because usually, usually one person comes out, you know, significantly on top of a lane when it's, uh, when the game is like this, like, you know, 33 to 8, that's like, that's a bit of a, a bit of a paddling. Four dragons to zero, you know, 18,000 gold difference, but like, Garen and I are kind of just like poking at each other a little bit. No one's really doing anything. Junglers don't really come top. I think Gwen came top once and like couldn't get me and that was it. Like we just got left on our own. Um, but anyway, it was, a, it was a fun game to play. I remember just, yeah, I, I really enjoy kind of uh, being left alone 1v1 with my opponent and just trying to see what I can do. But they were just a bit passive, unfortunately. So I couldn't really get a good... Uh, you know, a good set of <laughs> highlights, I guess, out of that one. Um, but yeah, it's nice to it's nice to be able to not get bullied in a lane and just like camped and stuff. I had a couple of games uh, in the last twenty four hours where I was playing and I just got like perma camped top like two v one lane style, and the rest of my team couldn't really keep up with it. So um, this was a nice a nice uh, chill game, I guess. Um, hope you enjoy it. And uh, I'll catch you in the next one.